YouTube, what's going on, man? We doing a food review at this Coney Island right here. This joint, one of the most famous Coney Islands in the hood. When I ordered my food, she was a little rude, but this Detroit, what can I say? This on Mac and Mount Elliott, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all when I get the food. All right, y'all, I'm about to go inside and get the food. It ain't really uh, clean and all that in there. It's kind of gutter, man, but I'm gonna grab the food and I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna show y'all the food and I'm gonna tell y'all what I think about it. Already the service is like, <laughs> It's like a, a three on a scale of one to 10 because she was kind of rude, but I ain't tripping. I'm gonna get the food, stay tuned. All right, y'all, I got the food. Look, I got it. You see how it, it can't, she handed the shit to me like this. I had to cuss. <laughs> I'm gonna show it to y'all, hold on. Just handed it to me all open. I told y'all it's gutter, man, it's hood. That's what it's looking like though. Show y'all this. See that? You see me? Something simple, y'all. Something simple. It's like it cost me like nine bucks. Uh it it looked good, you know. The cheese she didn't <laughs> wait, let me show y'all. She she put a slice of cheese on my joint. You feel me? So I'm already disappointed. And I was just bragging about this, but I'm already disappointed, you know. But I'm going to taste it. Presentation alone, I don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all think off the presentation alone. And the box was open when she handed it to me. So I don't know if that coincided with her little attitude that she got. <laughs> but I don't know. We're going to taste it and we're going to see, y'all. I'm first, I'm going to try this sausage first because this is my favorite. This is what, part of the reason. You see how big the links is? No homo. <laughs> It's good. It's good, good. Saturday morning breakfast, good. Hash brown. No salt, no pepper. It's good. Scale to one to ten sausage wise. I'm gonna say that joint like an eight. Hash brown wise, scale to one to ten. I'm gonna say like, I'm gonna say like a, a nine. Cause them joints, they banging with no nothing on them. You feel me? Let me taste the eggs. Now, I'm going to move the cheese off the eggs. I ain't even going to fuck with the... I ain't going to mess with the uh, the cheese. Because she just put it on there, y'all. Look. It's just a slice of cheese. Excuse my language. I'm a little upset about this food. Because I normally have a good experience. But they tripping today. The they real eggs. They good. No salt, no pepper, they good. I ain't put nothing, no seasoning on them. My toast is buttery. It's a little warm, but <laughs> it's all right. Overall, y'all, overall, I'm going to give this experience a six. I normally would say eight, you know, on a scale of one to ten for Grandy's coming out and on Mac and Mount Elliott. But today, six. Rude. I got some napkins. She gave me some napkins. Food ain't really just, you know, how it normally be. I'm very disappointed in Grandy's today. Tori B is, <laughs> y'all had me cussing. You feel me? So if you in, uh, in Detroit, Michigan, on the east side, man, this is one of my favorite breakfast spots, Grandy's. Today, I didn't have a good experience at Grandy, so I'm just going to be honest. This is six. On a scale of one to ten, this is six. She was rude. The food wasn't really, you know what I'm saying, the way it, it normally be. They just put a piece of cheese on my eggs like she didn't care. For nine bucks, you know I expect better. <laughs> but if y'all uh, want to see more reviews from me, man, in the up and coming future, subscribe. Comment. Let me know, you know. And, uh, and by the way, you already know I do the sports thing. I'm finna give y'all a two-team parlay, too. That's the point of me making the video in the review. I'm trying to get my reviews up, food reviews, anything reviews. So if you got something you want me to review or advertise, tap me in. My two-team parlay for today is, you hear the drum roll? <laughs> Pittsburgh Penguins and the Washington Capitals, y'all. 
put them together on the parlay. That's a two-team parlay. It'll bring you decent revenue. One of the teams is minus 260. The other is like minus 135, if I'm not mistaken. But it's it's a good little, you know, two-team parlay to put in the day. Blessings, man. I appreciate you guys watching, man. Let's get to that 1K, baby. <laughs>